Let's look at some exam questions for probability now. So example one, the game where you roll two dice and add the scores, you only win if you get a number below four. What is the probability of winning the game? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a table out that's going to basically add up the scores for me and work out how many ways of, of, of getting a number below four there, there are. So firstly, write the numbers on a dice. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to add these. Okay. So I'm going to do a little more. Right. Change colors here. It's a bit easier to see. So red. So in this first box here, that is going to be what happens when I roll a one and a one. So above one and to the left is one. So that is where if I roll two ones, which would be two. The box to the right would be if I rolled a one and then a two. A score of three. And then a 1 and 3, which would be a 4. And then 1 and 5, a 4, which would be 5. A 1 and 5, which would be 6. And then 7. And then down the way, if I rolled a, a 2 and a 1, it would be 3. A 3 and a 1. 4 and a 1. 5 and a 1. And a 6 and a 1. What you should hopefully realise at this point is that whenever you go right or down, you just add 1. So the next is 2 and 2. So it's 4, 5, six seven eight and then you go five six seven eight six seven eight nine okay and that is all the possible com like combinations or, or answers we can get from rolling two dice and we now need a number below four so how many numbers are there below four well, there's Two, three, and three, and that's all the numbers there are that are below four. So our answer is three out of the total number of outcomes there are. If you count them all up, you'll realize there's 36, but you can just also multiply six by six because there's six numbers along the bottom and six numbers going up. So it's six times six, which is 36. There are 36 like, possible combinations there, which gives me a simplified fraction of one over 12. Okay. Anytime you're doing some sort of game where you're rolling two dice or multiplying and adding the scores or multiplying the scores, you're probably going to have to draw this table out. It could have been anything. Like I could have done, for example, numbers greater than eight and you would have to like circle all the numbers that are, are greater than eight. And you would find that there are quite a lot. There are 10. And so your answer for that one um, would just be 10 over, again, 36, Okay, which would simplify to 5 over 18. Example number two for exam questions. A class is split up into girls and boys and then asked what their first pet was. The results are listed below. What is it probably that a pupil picked at random is a girl who has a dog? Okay, so they're one of probably of a pupil picked at random, which means that for our total, we need to add up all the pupils. Okay, and this is a girl who picked a dog. Well, a girl picked a dog, dog and girl. There it is there, six. So it's six out of, and then you've got to add everything up. Okay, so total number of boys are 11, 12, 13. Total number of girls are 13 as well. So it's 6 out of 26. And then remember to simplify it, so it's 3 over 13, is your probability of a girl who, who has a dog. Part B, was it probably that a boy picked at random has a cat? Now you need to be really careful with the language here. This is what's the probability of a boy picked at random. It's not a pupil anymore, it's just a boy. So there only is 13 boys in total, remember. So it's not out of 26 this time. So you need to be really careful just with the language that's being used. And then it has a cat, so it's 4 out of 13. Okay, and there's no way to simplify that. Okay, third example of exam question. In a game you flip a coin and spin a dial with numbers 1 to 8 on it, you only win if you get head, like a heads and an even number. So we're going to draw another table at this time. So this time... Draw like that, and we're going to have heads and we're going to have tails. Okay, so that is our coin on that side, and on the top, we're going to have our numbers. Okay, so what we need now is how many times in this are we going to win? 
So you only win if you get heads and an even number. So if I get heads and two, I'll win. Four and heads, I win. Six and heads, I win. And eight and heads, I win. But the rest of them, I would lose. Okay. So what's the probability? So we've got four winning ones. So four out of how many in total? Eight and eight, 16. So it's four out of 16, which actually gives me a one in four chance of get, of doing that. Okay, sorry for writing that, that weird way, but I run out of room. So one over four is the is the answer for that one.